welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today I am going to be doing a video that I mentioned a little bit ago. I don't know what in what video, but I was talking about how these bronzy, mauvey, taupey, purple, but bronze, but maybe a little rosy. Are they cool toned? Are they warm toned? I don't know. What do we describe these colors as? I'm not entirely sure. It's a spectrum, but these are my favorite freaking types of colors, okay? These bronzy, taupey shades. We're gonna call it that for short. It's more complex, but I thought I would share with you all the ones that I have in like single form that I love. They all kind of fall into that category, and really it's the type of shadow color that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I want one from every brand. I want one in every formula I want the same one over and over and over and over again I'm like obsessed if you can't tell I feel like this is going to be a part one because I do have a bunch of palettes I picked out that also have similar colors to these so if you want to see that video let me know also in general I just feel like I'm going to be adding more of these colors to my collection so if you want to see a part two later down the line definitely let me know but like I said what we're looking at are colors that kind of bend your mind okay in terms of what you think it is it's usually something that initially looks a little cool toned, you know, like upon first glance, you're like, okay, cool tones, which for a very long time, cool tones were not it, were not in. Um, and I used to hate these colors. I was so into warm tones, it's all I like. But these colors, they kind of walk the line. So they look cool toned usually. Maybe have a little bit of a purple or gray hue to them, or even something kind of silvery or like icy champagne. But when you actually swatch these colors or you use these colors or even swatch them next to actually something that's gray or actually something that's super cool toned, you realize there's more to this story. So anyway, let's just get into them and I'll kind of discuss them as we go. These are all a little bit different. It's a spectrum of where these colors lie. And of course, please let me know your suggestions. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> with these taupey bronzy shades, let us know down below. I feel like taupe and bronze work so perfect because taupe usually is, well, everyone thinks taupe is different, but the taupe I'm talking about is something that is a little bit purpley neutral-ish, but brown. And then the bronze adds that warmth and I feel like together, that's the color. So we're gonna start off with one, unfortunately you can't get, but I do think this like started my love, honestly, of these like cool but warm colors. So this is Holika Holika's Moon Flesh. <laughs> or moon flash shadow if you want to be proper about it um, this is such a beautiful beautiful color so here you can see it's icy this one is more icy in that top but there's this underneath about it that isn't cool toned it has like a warmth that's not gray that's not a gray base that's like a brown almost a rosy brown base to it and so i just love that offset of the cool sparkle with that warm base i find one of the reasons that these colors work so well at least on me is that if i use a straight up like gray eyeshadow it can be pretty harsh on me it just looks a little unnatural whereas that slightly warm base kind of gives this nice transition into something a little bit cooler and so so I feel like it just works well. So this one's more of like a topper than a straight up shadow, at least to me, like you would build out stuff like mattes and stuff and then top this over. I think that's the best way to use a color like this. But when this color came into my life was right at the beginning of that turn of being like, damn, like I actually really love this kind of cool tone shade and I feel like it was always the one I would avoid or was upset that that was always included. I'm like, where are the bronzes? Where are the yellow golds even? Which I'm not as into now. So um, this one is the first shout out. Again, unfortunately, I don't think it's like really available, <laughs> but hopefully a lot of the other ones are. I don't think that's gonna become like a running theme in case you actually did wanna try any of these. Also, I hope the lighting's okay. I'm gonna have like better swatch inserts. It's just been a morning with the lighting, honestly. I do have one dude that I wanted to show and this is another one maybe even when I mentioned this idea to you guys this was one of the kind of inspirations this is the NARS Kalahari duo and I think this perfectly sums up that kind of bronze yet taupe purple thing going on. Is it warm toned? Is it cool toned? Philosophers still don't know, <laughs> you know? Like we've been trying to get to the bottom of it and we just don't know, okay? Both these colors are quite similar to each other, but they are so beautiful and exactly what I'm talking about with this taupey bronze type of shade. One of these is a little bit more metallic, a little bit darker. It almost has like a blackened base on it. And then the other one, which I actually think is like the prime example of this taupey bronzy look, that one is more 
more of a satin and it's just so stunning all over the lid such an easy look like I said I love that kind of sultriness that you can get but it's still so simple so easy and I think that effortlessness makes it so much easier to wear every day without feeling a little like it's taking over your face taking over your makeup taking over your day like it's something you have to babysit type of thing so I love this duo I thought this wasn't available anymore but a lot of you said that it is and I was just wrong so um, I will try my best to find it online and link it down below I'm only mentioning this because I literally got a ton of comments that were like I can still get it here it's still here it's still here and I was like okay wrong information giving you totally wrong info but this is another one of those kind of inspiration pieces where I'm like man I love this I want this in a more sparkly formula a more metallic formula from different brands like I want I want more I want to talk about some cream shadows a lot of my singles that I have actually are cream for some reason the cream game loves to do these colors not complaining I just wish there were a little bit more powder shadows we can do it guys I think a classic color like this is moonlight from Laura Mercier this is one of the caviar sticks I just have a mini here I love this shade this is another prime 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 example of a color that looks cool toned but I am telling you that base that base is not as cool as you think it is it's like a cool warm bronze if you put this color next to a, like a warm sunned bronze even if it's more yellow or orange or whatever it's gonna look so cool toned but if you put this next to an actual gray that's where you see the nuance freaking love it this is so beautiful um, this works really well as a base if you want to put other shadows on top of it that's what I did today which there will be a demo at the end but it's also really pretty on its own I will say if you blend this out a ton it does lose some of its opacity so I would layer this shadow up if it was the only thing I was gonna use but it's so so pretty it also works really well to like do a little liner if you want to I love that look too I really love like a shimmer on the lower lash line again it's something kind of sexy I don't know I love it so moonlight from Laura Mercier love that one a brand that doesn't get a lot of attention this is phase zero and this is the metal foil eyeshadow in it's me oh another one of these beautiful taupey bronze shades this one almost has something rosy going on with it especially compared to moonlight and that's what I'm trying to say is it's a spectrum none of these are exact dupes of each other and that's kind of what makes the hunt still fun because there is a pretty big spectrum in this range and you can also go like with a lighter tone of these or a deeper tone a really smoky tone and obviously depending on your own skin tone which one of these work best for you might depend but I love this shadow I love that warm base on it so beautiful and then I feel like how it shines though is definitely something more cool toned these cream shadows also lock down they remind me of the Rowan but they lock down they're that type of cream they're a little bit harder um, in here some of them have a little bit more of a flakiness this one's not nearly as flaky as some of the other ones but just so stunning love that shade for my eye look today I use one of my favorite shadows from ColourPop the super shock in cosmic charge this one is maybe a little bit more on the bronze side and it has like it's almost like a green gray coolness to it that's also brown but this one definitely has the most warmth to it so you'll see that here but I feel like it still falls in line with this this same tone and color family because the sparkle that's in here is cool tone there's also some blues and almost like a purple almost like a lilac going on in here and so that adds to this kind of confusion I feel like like what is this? <laughs> what, what the fuck is this color it's an anomaly of nature I freaking love this I don't know if this one's available anymore I know she's so quirky that's another one that's pretty good as well in a similar color I think this one's a little bit darker and that one's maybe a little bit warmer so it might not fit this category but if you're looking for a super shock that one's pretty good too and I think it's available so love cosmic charge so good I've hit pan but let's let's be real if you hit pan on a super shock it's like congratulations you've used it more than twice <laughs> It's pretty easy to hit band on them. Continuing on our cream little journey, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl. This is another one that hits that, is it cool toned? Is it warm toned? It's so hard to tell. This doesn't have any like sparkle to it. And also it has definitely that warmth to it as well. But once you get on the eyes even, it looks more cool toned than you expect. But I love that it's not gray. You know, again, that gray, it's just hard for me to even blend out sometimes when I'm using gray. I'm like, how do I? I blend this out while it still looks good. I use this in my no foundation video more recently and it's
it's a really good one if you want like a simple look. It looks really natural overall while still like looking put together. Um, but again, you can use it as a base as well for a similar look and add some sparkle on top or whatnot. So that is Oyster Pearl. I do quite enjoy it. It's pretty expensive and maybe isn't my like first pick out of all of these, but I still think it's really pretty and I do think it's a really unique color. Again, sometimes it's hard to find these colors from brands. I think I have three more creams to talk about. Next, this one is from RMS. This is a newer product. It's the Eye Light in the shade Strobe. I do have another Eye Light, but this is the one I really suggest. It's so absolutely beautiful. This is the epitome of the color we're talking about here, those bronzy taupes. It is a metallic color and it is so stunning. This one has a bit of a purplish hue. Like it's not purple, it just has a purple tint. But again, that under base is kind of rosy, is kind of a warmer bronze. And so I find it blends out really nice. It looks like natural and yet cool and kind of sultry. It's really quite pretty. This is one, if you're a more simple eyeshadow person, this might be a good one just all over the lid every single day. If you want, you can top over, but this one locks down as well so it's not going to crease it's not going to go anywhere but the color is just stunning this color is so beautiful and like the epitome of this bronzy taupe I've been on the hunt for. This is a cheaper option. This is from Moira. I bought a few shadows during memorial sale and just wanted to try out the brand. And this one's a little bit lighter than some of the other options I've been mentioning. But again, it's like that bronze, but it feels cool tone. So even when you look at it, look at this. Okay. When you see it in the pan, I feel like it looks so much cooler because it has this like silver sparkle going on. And then you see the base really come out once you swatch it and also once it's on the eye that it's not nearly as cool tone. And you can see the difference here too between the RMS one and the Moira one, but it's still so beautiful. It still fits this category. Sometimes I want something a little less cool. Sometimes that's the more flattering thing for whatever other makeup I'm doing. I wear a lot of warmer tones when it comes to blushes and lip colors and whatnot. And so sometimes if I use this, it might be a little bit off or wonky or like harsh looking, whereas this everything kind of melds together, but it still gives me a similar effect of what I'm looking for. So that's the Moira Orion shade. That's like a cream color. This has quite a bit of sparkle in it too. It's a little bit sheer, but I think it's really beautiful and good for like easy everyday stuff. Last, this I don't know if you can get anymore because the KVD Dazzle Sticks came, sold out, and never came back. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. This is the Dazzle Stick in Flash Storm. This one's probably the most different out of everything because it really does have a, a bit of that purple and maybe it leans a little gray too. Plus it has a bit of a duochrome blue going on. Like it has the most magic happening, but it is stunning. And again, another one of the kind of bronzy taupe shades. You can see that blue flash, so pretty. But the base on this, like I said, has like a warm red brown. It's warm red brown. And so that's where your brain just gets so confused. It's like, I thought you were cool tone, but when I blend you out, you actually pair really well with like a matte warm red brown, like a really deep one that is like chocolatey, but it has a little bit of that red in it. That would be so pretty on the outer corner with this. Even a maroon would be pretty on the outer corner with this. And that's what's so interesting about these colors is that you don't have to only pair cool tones with them, like in the outer corner. They look really good with those same types of shades, but that are matte. Those ones that are kind of like, are you warm? Are you cool? You're kind of rosy tinted, but you're cool leaning, but you're bronze as well. Like what's going on? Those colors work really well with these. Let me know if you want to see a matte version of this video, because there are those matte colors out there that I love <laughs> that are like warm yet cool. And you Usually those ones fall more into the mauve -y, um, again, kind of like rosewood type shades. Okay, I have five more colors to talk about. I'm gonna finish up with like my potted eyeshadows and this one goes a little bit more gray. This is the shade Aurora Taupe from Touch and Soul. This is so, so beautiful. If you're looking for a really high shine, really high sparkle, almost like a wet look, this one is for you. Like I said, this one leans a little bit more like on the gray silver, maybe not quite as much warmth coming through, but there's like a pink sparkle in this almost like a golden sparkle in this. So it's almost working the opposite way where I feel like maybe the base of this color is looking a little bit more cool, but then with the golden sparkle, it's also kind of like, wait, what are you? What, what is going on here? It's so stunning. It's definitely a beautiful shade if you're looking in this color family. And this one is great also as like a topper. It doesn't have a ton of base pigment. It's a lot of sparkle. 
absolutely stunning. I love the Touch and Soul Metalist shadows. I have like almost all of them, if not <laughs> all of them. They're so good. All right, the last category I wanna talk about are single shadows that are just in pan form. I have four of them to discuss. First, let's talk about a classic. This is the classic of this color to me. This is Sable from MAC. I also feel like, what's the other one? Satin Taupe? That one's kind of in the family too. That one might be a little bit more cool toned though. Sable is that perfect, perfect shade. And you know, with these MAC colors, these old ones, there is something about them that maybe they don't swatch the best, but they are so stunning on the eyes. It looks so good. I know I love the sparkle and I get distracted like a little raccoon about it, but I'm telling you that these freaking colors, these satins look so freaking good on your eyes, okay? <laughs> there is something about them that looks so put together, like so flattering. Mm, it's so good. Anyway, that's Sable. Definitely more on the bronzy, a little bit more warm side, but there's something about it. If you put this shade next to a bronze, you will see that this is not like the other bronzes. There's almost something kind of rosy going on with this too. Just stunning shade. So good. An oldie, but a goodie. And definitely fits into this category. Next, we have Cold Smoke from Glam Shop. Oh my gosh, if you want just textured sparkle. Mm, some of the best textured sparkle in one of those cool tones. This is the one you want. It is so stunning. You can see the difference here, how much more almost silver this is. But this has, again, that warm base to it. It does not have a cool base. And I find it really just blends out nicely. Stunning. It's a little bit sheer. It doesn't have like a full opacity on it, but that lets that sparkle really shine. Stunning, so beautiful. Stand out from the brand. I have a whole video swatching all of my collection of of this brand glam shop and I feel like cold smoke is in the top like so good and it's probably the closest to the holica holica shade that I found so if you're really liking this but you can't find it cold smoke is the way to go next is a shadow from lethal cosmetics this one is called lithium um, this is another one that pulls a little bit more bronze but there's a coolness to it and almost oh, and almost like a purple this one pulls the most red out of anything here but it is so stunning and I'm telling you there's this cool vibe vibe about it. Here it is held up next to the swatch. I don't know if you can see how different those look and the warm red really comes out once you shear it out. But if you really wanna pack this up, it gets cooler and cooler. I love this as a one shadow look. It is a shiny shade, like kind of a metallic, but I find it just looks good by itself, all over the lid, kind of smoky on me. Like definitely you can see it. It's not like a no shadow shadow for me, but it's beautiful. Love this one. Probably one of my favorite shades from Lethal. I love it. And the last color, you guys, we've done it. The last one. This one is from Pretties for Your Face. This is called Ebornak, I think. I don't know what that's referencing, but this one's a little bit more on the cooler side as well, especially when we compare it to the Lethal shade. But again, it still has like a warm bronze thing going on along with how cool it is. It like blows my mind. Like even sitting here looking at it, I'm like, it's cool toned, but it's not. It is not cool. It is warm, but then it's not like warm, warm. Oh, so pretty. This one's absolutely beautiful. Honestly, one of the best in this category. It's it's that good. It's really, really good. If you're looking for this type of shadow, the shine on it's beautiful, but the undertone on it, I feel like is so perfect. It adds some depth. Absolutely stunning. I love these shadows so much, you guys. I really can't even get over it. I'm gonna show you a row of swatches really fast of everything, and I'll like tell you what's on my arm. Just so you can see them all together. Um, I think that will be helpful, like an actual help part of this video instead of me just raving about shit I like. Okay. All right, guys. So here we are with all the swatches. So you can really see the difference between everything. I did them in the order that I showed them to you. Got sparkles on my shirt, but absolutely like, oh, you can see the slight differences between them and how this is like a spectrum, but they're all in this family. That's so beautiful. So starting off, I mean, queen of them all. <laughs> Let's get real. The Holika Holika one here in Moon Flash. Then we have the NARS Duo and Kalahari. This is the Moonlight Cream Shadow Stick from Laura Mercier. This is the Phase Zero It's Me Cream Shadow. This one's Cosmic Charge from ColourPop. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Oyster Pearl. This is the RMS Shadow in Strobe. This is the Moira Shadow in Orion. This is Flash Storm from KVD in the Dazzle Stick. This is Aurora Taupe from Touch and Soul. This is Max Sable. 
cold smoke from glam shop which is way different actually than the holica holica this one definitely has a little more warmth to it this is lethal cosmetics lithium and last here is ebornak from pretties for your face which is stunning so i love them they're so so pretty and i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said please let me know your suggestions for these shades i cannot get enough they're my absolute favorite now that i'm back into neutrals i love them so let me know what you like out there but other than that let's get into the demo for this look all right let's do the eye look it's gonna be pretty simple i've already primed my lids i don't know if they're creased yet let me check no not bad pretty good <laughs> okay i'm gonna start off with a cream base i could have primed with this also but i'm gonna put this on top this is that moonlight cream shadow from laura mercier it is so pretty and some days when i'm really not wanting to do much this will be my only color i use but it also works really well if i'm trying to like use more stuff you know that type of thing it blends out really nicely on the lid and kind of acts as like a sheer base and i like it that way too it almost like shears out in a way that you're like is it gonna even look different like does it make a difference but i do find it's something slight that it does just to help the colors kind of blend and also get a little more saturated faster in the outer corner i'm gonna go in with sable from mac and this one does not need to to be precise at all. I'm using this just to deepen the outer corner because I'm going to go in with the ColourPop shadow, but I want some extra depth on that outer corner. Sable's so pretty, honestly so underrated, and I think, you know, I'm so into the sparkles, but I'm telling you, sometimes these satiny shades look so good and, you know, they sometimes just don't swatch the best, but they actually look amazing. I feel like my lighting is playing me a little. Let me try to fix that. I don't think that helped anything um, because the light from my window is making this side look lighter, but mm, we'll try to fix it a little bit later. Anyway, I think it's so nice about these colors too, like something like Sable, is that because it's like a satin, it is easier to blend out, like going straight in with it, so much easier. Seriously, one of the last things, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop shade in Cosmic Charge, which is so pretty. Love this shadow. Um, and I'm just gonna be putting that over my whole lid. Maybe not completely on the outer corner, but that is the shade of the day and it's so pretty. Okay, we gotta fix the lighting, my God. Okay, I think that's a little bit better, hopefully. I'm just gonna go over with my brush and blend the edges a little bit. Just make sure everything's nice looking. It's a beautiful, like kind of glossy look though. I love this. For my brow bone and inner corner, I'm going in with the new Pat McGrath highlighter I got. This is the Lunar Allure. I'm gonna put that on, again, my brow bone. Ooh, it's really pretty for that. And also on my inner corner. For liner, my favorite liner of like right now, and it feels like life, is the Rose Glow Pixie Liner. This also kind of falls into that same bronzy category, like, but it still has like a coolness about it. I don't know, it's just perfect. I'm obsessed with this liner. I'm gonna blend it out with a brush, but it looks good blended out with just my finger too. I'm gonna add some mascara and then I'll see if I need more. I feel like I want a little more sparkle, so I'm gonna go in with this shade. This is Cool Smoke. Oh, this one's so pretty. All right, guys, so here is the final look. So pretty, I love it. I just love these tones. I mean, it's like on the verge of being gray, but it's not. It has a warmth to it that grays don't. And when I use a gray and confuse the two, trust me, I learned my lesson because it doesn't look as good. There's something about that little bit of warmth. I feel like that makes it a little less harsh or stark while still having a similar effect, if that makes sense. So. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the little demo. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know what kind of taupey, mauvey, bronzy colors you enjoy. I am literally always on the hunt now. Um, I, I love them. So if you have any good suggestions, let me know down below. Let us know so we can get in on it. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.